If Superman just snapped when he was a kid and killed people. <laughs> I saw the trailer for this, I was like... I'm in. Brightburn. So Brightburn's basically an Elseworlds Superman story. It's like what would happen if Superman landed in Kansas, was raised by Ma and Pa Kent, and then when he was 13 years old, guess he's just kind of a psychopathic serial killer bad seed who's physically superior to anything on Earth, so now he's just gonna kill people. But the story's made by a different studio, so they can't say Ma and Pa Kent, or Smallville, or Clark, or Superman, Kal-El, any of that. Totally different names. Instead, the main kid who's Superman, not Superman's name is Brandon. And yeah, I've just told you the premise. It's like Superman. Superman if he snapped started killing people when he was a boy. Which when doing something like this, when I saw the trailer, I was like, all right, clearly it's gonna have that horror movie vibe, but is it going to be a clever deconstruction of the Superman character? And it's not really. No, nah, it's pretty much horror. Maybe that's a want I had after seeing the trailer, but I think it would have been really cool for a movie to basically take the Superman culture, the Superman character, and just deconstruct it and call bullshit on the whole thing. Because if you have a 13 year old boy, like kids suck anyway, right? They're all trying to posture like they're tougher than each other. You have one who's actually tougher than anything on earth people are gonna die They're, he's not just gonna be good and if he does end up being good people are gonna die along the way before he learns hey maybe i shouldn't kill people definitely a couple of accidental deaths right i guess he just would have preferred or enjoyed if not a more tragic descent a deeper deconstruction but really it is just it's horror and people die that said how are the thrills how is the horror how are the deaths they're all right one's particularly cool, and I would have seen it as cooler if I didn't see it in Injustice Gods Among Us first. A couple of stalking scenes here and there that showed promise, but it's not like this is made by someone who is a veteran of the horror movie field or anything like that. The thing that keeps this movie afloat is its genius premise. Superman, but he's bad. In a world where most movies of any genre, comedy, horror, whatever, are telling a story, a character story, I always think this movie would have benefited by being about a half an hour longer and telling a character story about someone's slow slow decline into villainy. Like have Brandon be a good kid, maybe he has a bit of a chip on his shoulder and then he slowly with his superpowers does one thing that he sees as justified. Then another thing that's a little more hardcore but still justified in his mind's eye and then before he knows it, he's a villain. Kind of like Dane DeHaan in Chronicle. Would have liked it better if it did that. Instead they go the easy route, they save themselves about a half an hour of character development. They're just like, well, he got a message in his brain from a ship and now he's just mad. But as a movie that's essentially Superboy the stalker who stalks and kills a few people in small that's not actually Smallville. I was pretty entertained by it. In the end, I will say Brightburn is a good time. No alcohol required. Thanks for your patience on me reviewing this one. A lot of people have been requesting this all week. It's just that there was no Seattle screening for Brightburn, which is never a good sign. Last movie that didn't have a Seattle screening for me was Hellboy. So I was actually going into this movie expecting a bit of a bus fire. Maybe that's why I walked out pretty pleasantly surprised. So again, thank you for your patience and thank you all for clicking that like button. You've been clicking that like button more lately. It's been helping the videos, helping my channel out. Thank you for that. That is the game of YouTube. We've been playing the game pretty well lately. So thanks again. All right, so Brightburn, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's another superhero you want to see an evil Elseworld non-licensed take on? Whoever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.